we now have two-way portals in abiotic factor check this shit out all right check this out i'm gonna go oh okay and we are all the way here in gale reactor okay and that's just that's literally just plugged into a freaking battery plugged into a wall i can head right back and voila okay so how do these work and how do you build them uh let's talk about how they work first so how they work is you set a name to the portal and then that connects to the other portal with a name so i just named my portals one two three and four um so for example i'm gonna set this one to i'm gonna name this one to like bleh and then it is nothing and i will go to this one i will set it to two and this should take me to the windmill in Canaan. Yeah, so now we are in the windmill in Canaan. Okay, sweet. So same thing here. I can change the name from here. Let's say I want this to connect to four. It will pair with teleporter number four, which is this one right here. So yeah, it's really nifty and very, uh, very intuitive, really easy to use. Um, now... They take a lot of materials to build because they're super useful. So let's talk about what it takes to build one of these. Okay, so the teleporter pad requires a lodestone, a transuranic super alloy, uh, Tarask Ikor, and a reinforced CPU, which is from those uh, level 3 security bots that are in Hydro Plant. So farming Tarask Ikor and, and CPU, those are challenges on their own. But they're totally doable. They're just really tedious. You might need to set up some traps or whatever. Uh, I'm not going to talk about how to do that right now. I will talk about some of the newer stuff, though, because this is from newer content. So, Transuratic Super Alloy. You require Plutonic Blood, Plutonic Carapace, Arcane Scrap, and Transcendium. So, Transcendium and Arcane Scrap, you can kind of farm this from the new mobs, like the Gatekeeper mobs. I, th I don't know about Transcendium, actually. I don't know if Transcendium drops from them. It drops from the boxes, like the black arcane boxes. Plutonic Carapace and Plutonic, Plutonic Blood are a bit more complicated. They drop from the new aliens, so the new Exors and the new pests. However, Plutonic Blood drops from the... Uh, they're called the Volatile Exors. They're like the big ones that self-destruct. And the fact that they explode makes them really hard to farm this. However, there is a trading machine where you can trade Carapace for Plutonic Blood, and I'll show you guys where that is. Okay, looking to get into this office area with all the dead Exors, and then you will see this way to climb up onto this little, like, catwalk-ish area here. We're just gonna follow this path. this guy I'm just gonna freeze him beat his ass a little bit we're gonna unlock this door and yeah here so you can trade your your plutonic carapace for uh for plutonic blood here so i'm just gonna drop all these in there and then voila there's 13 plutonic bloods in there for me and for lodestones as well lodestones show up in some of the new reactor areas but they do respawn in Canaan and I'll show you guys where that is um yeah I'd recommend setting up a, a portal in the windmill in Canaan just so that you can farm lodestones every time the portal realms reset yeah once you get to the windmill there should be a there should be a plug you can use there and then you just go up the little bucket thing and then through the swamp and grab the lodestone you can just teleport right home Oh shit! Ah. Holy fuck! <laughs> He's crazy! He's unhinged! He's out of control! He just drops biomass! What's the point in fighting that guy?